Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video and today we're going to talk about transferring GW pots into dropper bottles. Uh, so I had done a previous video on this and I hate it. So I'm re-recording it and actually we're going to do it right this time. So uh, let's start at the beginning. We've got our GW pots, okay? We don't like them because they're difficult to work with you know, they they don't stay open, they let your paint dry out, yada, 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 whatever the case. So what do we need to do this? We need some GW pots. We need some dropper bottles. These are, this is a 30 milliliter dropper bottle, dropper bottle I ordered from eBay. I will put the link in the description below so you can go order the same thing if you like. Uh, comes with a nice little standard, uh, you know, tip and lid that you can put on. I took the tip off so we can fill it uh, normally. It has a little tip that slides on in there. Uh, this is actually the second time I've refilled this one in case that's not obvious. And we also need some pipettes. Uh, you can order these in bulk again from Amazon or eBay. And then in general, you want some kind of medium or flow improver or something, something that's gonna get especially the base paints moving. So in this case, I have some Warcolors flow improver. It'll serve our purpose. So, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna start by opening this bad boy up and we're gonna just take some of that flow improver and drop it right on in there. You can also, you don't have to use the war colors like I'm using, any flow improver will work, including the bulk stuff you buy from the, uh, from the art store. Uh, and then I'm just gonna put like maybe a drop or two of water in there from my pipette. One, two, three. Just a little bit of regular water to get it all flowing. All right, we're gonna make sure that's nice and tight. And we're gonna shake, 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 shake your paint bottle, okay? So if you've got a little paint vortex mixer, something like this, hey, guess what? That can make your life a lot easier. And there we go. Now that that's all mixed around, what we're gonna do is crack that open, get our other bottle ready. We're gonna do this on a paper towel, just in case we make a big giant mess, we don't get it all over our desk. I'm just gonna drop that down in there. Draw up as much as we can on each single time. The more times you have to draw in and out, the more paint you're gonna waste. There we go, just drop that on in there. Generally for these big ones, if you've got a nice big size pipette like this, it'll take you a few goes at it. That makes a funny noise. And there we go. Now, obviously you're wasting some amount of paint that's getting stuck to the inside of the pipette. Yeah, that's why in general I do these 30 mils and I actually grab a couple of these pots and I do it all at once. Because once you're kind of, uh, once the inside's kind of coated, well, there's not that much more for it to coat to. So I don't actually like clean it up in between each time. Okay. And instead, what we do is then we take the next bottle. Mix that up. There we go. And then same thing. The key is that the flow improver is going to get it thin enough that the pipette can actually soak enough of it up. Now, it will thin your paints out somewhat. So, effectively, if you find yourself thinning your GW paints, especially the base paints, you kind of don't have to anymore after you do this. Once you go through this process, you can basically just put them straight on the wet palette and go. Um, you will find that their opacity is somewhat reduced, but they're, you're basically trading a little bit of opacity for them being pre-thinned and a lot more ease of use. 
So if you're the type of person who's following like the two thin coats method and thinning down your paint a lot, you'll find that following this method and doing this, uh, your paint's kind of ready to go right out of the pot and there's not much more you really have to do. So that can be actually a big time saver and helpful. Um, you will, it's automatically thinned. You still have to do two coats. You just don't have to work on getting your ratio exactly correct anymore or testing it. It's just kind of with a little bit of flow improver and just a couple drops of water, it's usually much closer. So get one more good squeeze out of that one. And there we go. Two pots emptied. You can see they're still, I mean, as always, it's never going to be perfect. You're always going to leave paint in there. But I ask you, when was the last time you got a bottle of paint completely empty? You had nothing left in it, nothing on the sides, so on and so forth. If you want, you can also just take like a tiny little drop of water up in there. Kind of let it sink around. Like I drew a tiny drop of water up into my pipette. And now I'm just, you can see it flooding. That's how much water I took up into the pipette. And I'm just using it to kind of move around, get some of the loose paint off. And then I just kind of throw that in there. There. Now with that done, snap our top on. Ta-da. Tighten up our normal cap. My hands are all covered in black paint now. How fun. As these are 30 milliliters, uh, and these are the little GW paint pots are 12 milliliters, basically because of what gets sort of wasted, you know, you lose about two milliliters or something-ish in that regard, you basically end up being able to put three of these into here. I had already done one beforehand. So now this guy is nice and full. Nice big full bottle. You can mix that around real quick, just to make sure everything's nice and mixed up, and boom. The last thing I always do is you can just take these stickers right off. Um, they will come off, by the way, if you're interested to have, you know, so that way you can leave them marked. If you just go get over here under your nail on the corner of it. Ta-da! You can pull it right off. And then you can have your own label. So, there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, that's how you transfer paints from a dropper bottle to or sorry, from a, a paint pot to a dropper bottle. Uh, again, your keys are just a little bit of flow improver, or you, you if you don't have a flow improver, you can also just use acrylic thinner. That'll also work, so you can even use like Lamia Medium, or uh, if you want to have them be more contrast type paint, you can use a little contrast medium. You can use Green Stuff World's Master Medium. You get the idea here. Anything like that's gonna work. You just take a nice pipe, you, you mix those in, couple drops of water, no more. Just, you know, maybe two, three drops of water in a paint pot. Get yourself a nice big pipette, draw it out of the pot, drop it into the bottle. Job's a good one. There you go. Easy peasy. So short one today, but uh, that video, the old video I made, I hated so much. It's long been a thorn in my side. And now we have a proper video showing you how to do it. And uh, I've done a bunch of these. I've moved over some of the colors I like, like Abaddon and Bugman's Glow and uh, Troll Slayer Orange. Like there's some nice colors in GW range. I just can't use the pots. So this is how I solve it. So there you go. If you liked that, give it a like, subscribe for additional hobby cheating in the future. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop those down in the comments. But as always, I thank you very much for watching this one and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.